Here we go again. Hotel releases firmware version 2.5.12 on October 31st, 2020. What's today? November 1st, 2020. What does that mean? We are definitely up to date. So we'll go over those updates coming right up. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to My Drone Chronicles. And if this is your first time here, you might want to think about hitting that subscribe button down below if you like talking about drones or tech or what's coming up or what's coming out. Anyway guys, today we're here, like I said, Autel released uh, firmware version 2.5.12 and we're just going to run down through the list of what those updates are. Uh, Alright, so new features. One, they added IMU calibration. Two, they added third access compass calibration to improve calibration accuracy. Three, they added infrared 640T thermal camera with radiometric support, specific regions only. Four, they added time lapse in intelligent flight modes. And five, they added SDXFAT large file system support. 3.5 gig or more. Bug fixes and optimizations. Uh, one, they optimize the gimbal stability. Two, they optimize gimbal automatic calibration by adding gyro bias calibration. Three, improve the smart orbit performance. Four, optimize the balance of picture sharpness and noise, color reproduction and the tones in some scenes for both 8K and 6K to improve JPEG image quality. They changed the default video encoding format to H.265 for videos in 6K and 8K resolutions. They resolved the EXIF data error issue and they fixed the gimbal is not ready bug on firmware version 2.5.11 and there's some notes after you upgrade the firmware please perform gimbal auto calibration IMU calibration and compass calibration before the first flight now in order to support all the new features please upgrade the Autel Explorer app to iOS version 1.7.5 or Android version 1.7 dot one dot seven dot ten and newer so if you take a peek at those features you could see they actually match up with the um, software updates that we went over in our last video so now some of that stuff is going to sync up correctly so we'll take a look at the app and see if we can see any of these things in there. Okay, let's get these powered on here. All right, let's see. Let's get this connected up. All right, so let's, let's take a look here. So added IMU calibration. Well, we've seen that uh, last time in the last video uh, with the application updates. So obviously this uh, firmware is to support that and vice versa. Uh, so we've seen that already. Added third axis compass calibration, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we've seen that in the last video too. Uh, that was in there. Um, added the infrared 640 thermal, thermal camera stuff. So that, that's great. I don't have a thermal camera. Um, added time lapse in intelligent flight mode. So in the software updates, it said last time, uh, it said it added hyperlapse, which was there. This. Um, Firmware update says it's adding intelligent or it's adding time lapse. So let's take a look. 
So, do you see a time lapse in intelligent flight modes? Hyperlapse, dual sensitivity, precision flight, gesture control, smart orbit, orbit, viewpoint, parallel track, tripod track, dynamic track, and manual flight. <laughs> I went backwards through them, but I do not see a time lapse in the intelligent flight modes. Yeah, so. Yeah, I don't. Not sure about that. Um, if I'm missing something, please let me know. Yell out. Um, yell at me in the comments. Say, dumbass, it's right there. Uh, added SD uh, large file system, and it's nothing we could actually see. Um, and then there's bug fixes. So, uh, okay, so let's take a look at where they say that they changed the default video encoding format to H.265 for videos in 6K and 8K resolution. So, all right, so let's check this out. We'll go up in here, and as you can see, I have, this is on, well, let's get this down to 30, whatever. Uh, 4K, 30 frames per second. All right, so then if we go into here, check this out. As you can see right there, video encoding format H.264. Okay, so what if we go into 4K and we change it to 6K? Now if we go into here, it still says H.264. So, what does that mean? Does it, does it work or what? Um, Let's see if we take start a recording. a short little video of nothing here and stop. Stop recording. And let's see if we go back into here. H two sixty four. Uh so it's not changing. Automatically. 8K, go into here, H264. So, all I could tell you is when I first went in there, before I changed anything, it said H265. So I changed it to H264 and put it on 4K, whatever 30 frames you've seen that there. So when I switch it to 6K or 8K, it doesn't change that. So, I don't know what they're referring to default. Is it gonna, it's it gonna do that without having it set there? Or is it set by default when the app starts up? So let's see what happens here. Let's see if we can quit the app. Let's quit the app. Start the app back up. Yep, go into camera. Yep, we know. Get out of there. Go down here. Uh, it's in 8K right now. It's H.265. Okay, so let's test this out. Let's take that to 4K. 30 frames per second. Okay. Go in there. It's still H265. So, it's 4K30. H265. I'm going to change it to H264 because that's what I want it for 4K. Now, so it's still 4K. It's H.264. Let's, come on. Let's quit the app. Go back into the app. Yep, we hear you. Go into the camera. Get out of there, get out of there. Go into the settings. Go into the camera settings. It's 
H264. How about that? Okay. So we restarted the app. It was in 4K. Is it still in 4K? Yes, it's in 4K30. And it came up as H264. So now, if I click on that and switch it to 6K, click on this, switch it up here, it still says H264. So, there's obviously some bugs to work out there. If you switch it to uh, 6K or 8K, it's not going to switch that to H.265 automatically. As you can see there, it's not switching it. Unless you quit the app and start it back up, we'll look at that. You see it right there. Test that. H.264, 6K. Quit the app, start it back up, go into the camera, view, go into the settings, and there it is, H.265. So, it's not, I really wouldn't say that it's, they set that, I, I would say that that doesn't work okay uh, you just gotta pay attention to what what you have it set on if you leave it on if you obviously if you restart it when it was last in 6k it's gonna come up in 265 if you restart it when it was in 264 it's gonna come up in 264 but if you switch resolutions it's not going to switch between there so yeah that's I don't know it's kinda Hokey. The gimbal fix again, uh, is that the bug? Is it actually not ready or is that just, you know, just displaying there not ready for a second? Is that the problem? I, I don't know. Uh, if that was the problem, that fix doesn't work. So anyway guys, that's some of the updates here uh, in this new firmware version. And we now are officially up to date. You can't get any more up to date. Uh, than this uh, but hey I, I appreciate you guys pointing it out to me because you know uh, again I, I do this stuff for fun I, I want to learn from you guys if there's stuff that you know I can contribute great uh, but but we're all learning all the time so uh, that's what this is all about anyway if you like what you see here and you like the things I'm talking about let me know by hitting that like button down below and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Later.